Welcome to day two of the insanely dark online games for young children week. Um, this is what I hope will be a very short game because I can't even look at the screen right now. This is Draculara Foot Doctor. I hate feet. I think feet are horrible, disgusting, ugly, gross, icky, blech. And so a whole game where they're shoving a foot with boils and rashes and bruises and all kinds of nasty stuff is just not my cup of tea. But that's what I get for picking to play all the games on a list. If you do not know who Draculara is, she also goes by the name Ula D, according to the website. And she is from Monster High. I honestly don't know if Monster High has an actual cartoon. I know that online they've done a couple like short little cartoony things like that are only a minute or two minutes or something long maybe. And I know that they release a line of kind of Bratz-ish dolls. Um, and I think they're somewhere between a Bratz and a Barbie. They're like taller and lengthier than a, than a Bratz doll but they're still horrible. Uh, my cousin, well, my cousin's daughter, my other cousin, um, not this year, but the, the year before, for Christmas, I got her like a stuffed Rainbow Dash Thai Beanie Baby, and she had one of her friends there, so I gave her like a Pinkie Pie, and then I gave one of the, uh, then another girl showed up, and I gave her a Twilight Sparkle. I actually had to leave, um, we were there for Christmas, I actually had to drive down to the Walgreens and buy another Beanie Baby because I was only told beforehand that there would be two little girls there and then a third one showed up and I didn't want you know the other two to be playing with toys while the third one had nothing anyway that um, my cousin's daughter also got a number of monster high things and was not impressed the little bit that I've seen I'm not impressed and uh, it just has way too much of a Bratz vibe to me Anyway, here we are. I've been looking away and I just raised my eyes up to the screen and it is horrible. Okay, use the ice cube on the bumps because it removes... Whoa, get back here. I want this back. Ice cube on the bumps because it removes swelling. Remove the splinter using the pliers. Wow, actual pliers. Not even like forceps or anything. Bandage the wound. Use the powder for the wound. Well, do I bandage it and then use the powder? Or do I use the powder and then bandage it? Use the medicine dropper. Just, you know, in general. Be creative. Allow your muse to speak to you. Heal the bruise through some means. And then use the injection. Just inject it into your eye. Okay, so here's this ugly foot. Um, presumably, this is not... Her foot? Um, it could be, I suppose. But just the way that she's located and the the side of the foot that's facing you, unless she's looking into a mirror, this does not seem like this is hers. Okay, so. Use the... Oh, you have to hold it. Use the ice cube on the bumps. So we put it on the bumps, and the bumps go away, and then the foot sparkles. I don't need to see that. Thank you. All right, what was step number two? Step number two, remove the splinter using the pliers. Of course. Once again, you have to click and hold. Move over to the splinter. Oh, let go, and it grabs on, and then she cries. Is this your... Did you remove your foot? Wouldn't Frankie be a better character for this? Frankie is like Frankenstein's daughter or something. I don't know that she's actually sewn together like her father, but it would make a little bit more sense if she had like an AKA or a BKA where she could separate things. All right, click again and wonk. There it goes. And now she's all happy. All right, step number three. Bandage the wound. All right, this is the wound. No, is this the wound? They both look like wounds to me. Here's a bandage. Once again, click and drag. Click to remove. Well, that's just cruel. Okay, one, bandages don't work that way. Two, I don't know why I'm saying this, but in England they call them plasters. And I say England, but I'm maybe in Great Britain in general? I don't know. Um, but yeah, they don't work that way. And if you were to put... That was a huge rash slash abrasion. It looked like, you know, road rash kind of stuff. 
that's the wrong size plaster and I put the sticky part right onto the wound and then I ripped it off well, that was a horrible thing to do all right use the powder for the wound well the wound is gone because I bandaged the wound but I guess I will put uh, what kind of powder is this anyway I powdered your wound do I need to powder it more powder the crap out of that wound Ooh, and it just magically disappears. So this powder must be that stuff that you get out of a pet egg. It's that, it's part of a foot. So you just continue adding it to the wound until the wound has smoothed over. Also, if this is your foot, this is a ridiculously, like, lumpy, misshapen, kind of like a T-bone steak looking evil foot. I ran out of things to say there. Use the medicine dropper. Okay. Oh, so now see, they could have said use the medicine dropper to apply the gentian violet to the onychomycosis, but they didn't say that. Yoink. So onychomycosis is a fungal infection of the toenail. Well, it doesn't have to be the toenail, but the nail. Um, more common in toenails, though. And gentian violet is just uh, one of the potential treatments. I think it's over the counter. I don't even think it's a prescription. You can just buy gentian violet. Okay, what's next? Heal the bruise. Okay, so I'm guessing this ice pack goes here or do I rub it? Oh, you rub it. So that was that wasn't a bruise. That was just a little bit of uh makeup that she accidentally dropped on her foot. And so I just used this cloth over here to wipe it off. All right, and then use the injection. So you have, what, a blood clot, and we're going to use Altaplace or Anoxaparin to bust it up. Also, your nail is still black. That means there's still, you know, some amount of hemorrhage underneath. Oh my gosh, Dora, what the heck happened to your face? Okay, it looks like it's supposed to be makeup, but it's all bumpy and scabby, like it's some horrible infectious plaque formed on your cheek that is horrifying and no it is because look at she's got like pock marks all over her the girl is just a plague bearer oh man i i, I kind of want to play that game too but i clicked it and nothing happened so i guess we're not going to do that okay if we replay let's see how quick we can win ready go Dun 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 Yay Boink Boink Doink Medicine dropper Boink Injection Boink Thing that gets rid of other thing Boink Come on come on There we go And doink doink So this game takes all of five seconds to play which is good, because I want it to be over. And, uh, yeah, pretty much one of the most horrifying experiences I've had. And it's day frickin' two. I would so much rather deal with lice than a horrible, rotten foot. And I say this because I'm an infectious disease pharmacist, and I get to see people with diabetic foot infections. You want to have a lot of fun? Go ahead and do a Google image search for diabetic foot infection. There are, uh, and turn safe search off. Lots of fun stuff you can see. We had a student last week. Uh, this actually, this student was two weeks ago at work. So she spends the whole week with me doing, uh, you know, learning kind of how to do my job, kind of. And we had a patient with a foot infection. And uh, sometimes when wound care goes by, they'll actually snap a photo of the patient's wound and then upload that into the chart. But, and we didn't know that there was going to be a photo because the, the symbol that shows up saying that there's a photo on a note is the exact same symbol that shows up when the note was written at a different facility. Because my hospital operates like a couple other hospitals in the area, smaller regional hospitals. And so we'll sometimes have people transfer over. So I thought it was a transfer note coming from the other hospital. And instead I clicked on it and there was this horrible ugly nausea inducing infected foot and uh i'm even as much as i hate feet i'm kind of inured to the uh 
the experience. Uh, I've seen enough in person, and so it doesn't really, you know, catch me off guard. But man, my student, she's like, I could have, you know, dealt with that if we knew that was coming up. But man, she almost gagged and threw up in my office. This has been Draculara Foot Doctor. Apparently, we are the foot doctor for Draculara. Apparently, Draculara's feet are either installed upside down so that the sole is facing her and the otherwise top of the foot, the dorsal part of the foot with the toenails is facing down. Or, option two, she's able to remove her foot or her leg at some uh, point and turned it around for us to then treat so that she didn't have to look at it. Or she's got a mirror, but she can't have a mirror. I know I said she had a mirror earlier, but that's impossible because she's a vampire and vampires don't have reflections. So it's impossible for her to be using a mirror. The last possible option is that that is our foot. And it doesn't look anything like my foot. But we are treating our own foot and she just has empathic pain. So she can sense when we are feeling pain like at removing the splinter and she just cries tears along with us because she feels what we feel at that moment using her vampire mind control powers. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we will continue with another game that I have no clue what it is or have never played it before. Until next time. Oh man, I kind of want to show this. I kind of kind of want to show this. Look at this horrible picture. Ah, wait, why would you do that? I need you to not do that, okay? Look at this. Look at this. Why won't it let me scroll? I don't know why it won't let me scroll. Ah, this picture right here is all I want to show you. Ah, you're not even really going to get much of the effect here. It won't let me scroll. <laughs> Why? It's like completely a nerd. It won't... Okay, so maybe as I do this, maybe you can at some point pause it and get a picture of that. Oh well. Until next time. Bye-bye.